Don't forget to check out our sponsor, The Hell Blaze, at thehellblaze.com. 100% all natural products from lotions, soaps, foot soaks, bath bombs, and much, much more. Use the promo code goodfella one boxing Tell them your boy CJ Goodfella since you get 18% off. We out. All right, Errol Spence went on, uh, did an interview with Cameron Wolf on ESPN. He's a senior writer over there. He's a brother. So, shout out to Cameron Wolf for getting that uh, article, this interview with Terrence Crawford. Crawford, uh, you know, went on to talk about a lot of things. Um, he talked about, you know, basically what he told Errol Spence in private. He goes on to say, you know, he ain't selling his soul out or trying to do no fake beef to sell a fight. And he really not going to play the villain role. And, and he's, you know, one of the telling things I took away from the article was that it seemed like he got more respect for as a fighter for Danny Garcia than Earl, Earl Spence. So let's get into it. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. Appreciate the love support. Um, and yeah, he basically, he was asked about Earl Spence going around saying that he going to smoke him, you know, you know, he going to wash him and all that. And he said, that's fine and dandy. He said, we got on the phone. I told him I was going to whoop his butt and he said i said i mean that and i'm gonna make it happen he said we get in the ring i'm gonna wash him he broke down you know basically where he better than them at he said they both big they, they both strong they both got power they both got ring iq but what separates him is he faster slicker and he's a smarter fighter and he got more versatility and he said he got more heart so i don't know how you could determine how much heart errol spence got at this point in his career but I guess you're supposed to believe what you want to believe. So, you know, you know, I'm pretty sure Earl going to try to test his heart and Terrence going to try to test his heart. So you're supposed to believe you are you, you better than another man. And people getting outraged about when fighters say, you know, I could beat him. I could. What, what you supposed to mean? What you supposed to say? You know what I'm saying? I'm supposed to say he, he better than me. No, I put the work in just like he do. You know, he pissed just like I piss. He drink water like I drink water. He hit the bag like I hit the bag. You know, and he basically got into the details about the fighting hard to have, hard to make it just about the percentage splits of the fight and who the A side and, and and just stuff of that same redundant nature, you know. And the most telling thing he said about that topic, and he gave us top five well to us, including himself. One of the telling things he said was that he wanted to be like Pacquiao, Oscar De La Hoya, where he don't have to put on a false bravado. He don't have to put on a moniker he don't have to be you know money mayweather or he don't have to go out there and be you know you know prime time Deion sanders you know he want to just be a self and rise to the top let me tell you this he said he tired of people telling him what he need to do motherfucker you 32 years old bro the time ticking all right you in a position right now the last couple of years you couldn't get the fights you you, you want to get right you gotta be a hustler bro you gotta be a go-getter sometimes you have to step out the box and market yourself. If Floyd never stepped out the box and marketed himself, bro, he never would have got the money. If the money don't matter and, and 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 the ops don't matter, then you need to retire right now. If you're good enough to retire and the opponents don't matter, you can do us all a favor and just retire. Because the route, the route that you're going, even Andre Ward told him, like, hey, bro, you got to. I, I ain't even one dude that do this. But in your position, you got to smoke these dudes out and you're capable of it. But if you're going to sit here. And you gonna let them play you like this, motherfucker? You gonna be thirty six years old, dog, and not getting no fights? Cause you know that's just what it is. At this point, he might as well retire if everything gonna stay the same. Because Earl can keep saying this and saying this and saying this. We all know Earl hurting to make the weight. We know Earl just got into a car accident. Don't mean he gonna be the same. Earl can move up to fifty four because he got court of public opinion, the media against you. He said, I don't want to be those good one of those guys that's basically I'm paraphrasing that's that's hated through the media. Nigga, you already hated. You you ain't you ain't you ain't looked around. You ain't noticed. You did it the right way and they still don't like you. And for well, most of the reason it is because you don't speak to certain media. So you're already wearing the black hat. By in, in, by default in your mind. But by all the media outlets, some media outlets don't like you because you black. We're gonna keep it. We're gonna keep it one hundred. Some media outlets don't like you because you didn't give them an interview. You ran from giving them an interview, not saying no names. So they creating false narratives to make you look bad. Now, if you interview with them, they probably like you, but not as much as Earl Spence. You don't make it. Maybe they make it a 50 50 thing. So you you can't be I Oscar De La Hoya or Pacquiao. You you black. You you ain't realize that motherfucker. You black. 
Oscar was a, a gold medalist Mexican American, bro. Manny Pacquiao was a phenom that rose to eight divisions. You you can never you can never be beloved like them. You name me a fighter, a black fighter through history, not named Sugar Ray Leonard, he got a gold medal, who has been beloved <laughs> like Pacquiao and Canelo, and, and they can fill drug tests and, and play with dildos and, and fishnets and they can juice their way up to the top. You name me somebody else out there that's been beloved like them. That's been black other than Sugar Ray Leonard. You you really can't name me nobody. Marvin Hagler, they used to hold him. Roy Jones, Larry Holmes, Muhammad Ali wasn't loved until he was shaking and retired, bro. You know boxing. But if you're gonna play this role where you just gonna, you know, let you know, let Earl just get off the hook and run around and fight, and you're not gonna pony down on him, you're not gonna, you're not gonna do a verbal assault, you're gonna let your just just right now, you might as well do us a favor. And just retire, bro. Or you might as well stop talking about it and fight the opponents you're going to fight and retire. You're going to be like Henry Armstrong. No marquee opponents. You know, and, and that's okay. If that's what you choose to do, hey, boxing goes on. We know in our hearts that Errol Spence didn't want to fight. We know. When people go back and say, hey, you know what? You're going to be, you and Andre Ward going to be similar to each other. Y'all going to be, the motherfuckers going to be doing videos. How good was Andre Ward? How good was Terrence Crawford? The difference is Andre Ward conquered a tournament, but still, there's still questions. It's still gonna be he's still gonna be a forgotten fighter. He's gonna be like Henry Armstrong, bro. He gonna be like Cameron Brasilio, Jake Lamada. You know what I'm saying? He gonna be like Larry Holmes. You feel what I'm saying? He he gonna be like those guys, bro. And and and, and you know, if that's just not in you, you're not willing to do that. He said it's the entertainment business. Obviously, when Eddie Murphy do a movie. If he play a a, a, a a black grumpy old man, it's a it's he's acting. He's acting. It's for entertainment. Remember, it's for entertainment. He said, "I do my entertaining in the ring. That's fine, but you entertaining against fighters. People don't want to see you fight. Part of the entertainment business is engaging and then doing your thing. When they come out with a movie, don't they run trailers?" Don't Eddie Murphy, wouldn't Red Fox, wouldn't uh, 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 Richard Pryor, wouldn't you know Denzel Washington go around and do interviews like Will Smith and Bad Boys? Then they go around and do interviews to promote the movie. Go around the Breakfast Club, you know? Don't they run trailers? Don't they do premieres to build the to build the movie up? I'm trying to talk to them. Same reason you got to build the fight up. Somebody in, in today's society, it can't be two good guys. It can't be two people that's right. Which in, that, in, in real reality, it can't be two people that's right. Somebody got to wear the black hat. You got the black hat by default. No matter if this dude, you know, drunk and crashed and, 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 and hit a kid, they, they just don't like you. It's okay. They didn't like Floyd. They didn't like, a lot of people didn't like Ali. They hated Larry Holmes. But it, it's better though. It's better. It's sweeter when you win, when you, when you a good guy, it feel good. I wear a black hat on YouTube every day. It ain't that I choose to. It's just my opinion is my opinion. I'm not, I'm not dressing it up. I'm not, I'm not curving my opinion for nobody. I'm going to be a, a straight shooter. I want you to keep it 100 with me and I'm going to keep you, I'm going to keep it 100 with you. That's just the type of dude I am. But he ain't going to understand it, bro. He going to let Errol Spence wiggle through his fingers and he going to go down on the Henry Armstrong list. A good fighter with not a marquee fight. You all the favor in my book. Don't get me wrong, but you know that's just what's gonna happen. They, you know, either either you you wear the black hat, you call them out, you smoke them out, you pull down on them, do what you need to do. You already said you're not doing that. That's fine and dandy. Or you take less money and make the fight happen. You pick. Because if you don't do one of those two, if you feel like you're gonna win, you know what I'm saying, and you feel like if you you're gonna beat him good enough, where maybe he might want to rematch and win his belts back. Y'all put a rematch clause in there, take less money as long as you get the bigger split in a rematch. That's what Wilder did. You know what I'm saying? Even though he gonna get the lesser split in the rematch because he lost in the second fight, but in a trilogy, but that's what he did. So that's that's the two routes he can go. He can pull down on Cuz and, and emasculate him and, and, and strip him of his masculinity in front of his family and friends in Jerry World in Dallas, or he can take less money. If those, if those things not going to happen to make the fight happen, 
Just say, hey, man, I'm just going to fight the opponents I'm fighting, and I'm going to just move on from it. I'm going to move up, or I'm going to move down. I'm going to fight Taylor, Ramirez, Regis, Hook. Well, you can't fight Hook. They're on the same stable. I'm going to fight those type of guys, and, and, and I'm going to get credit down the line. And the sad thing about it is you're going to go down as a forgotten fighter. You can fight Regis a thousand times. You can watch. You can fight Taylor a thousand times. You can fight Ramirez a thousand times. And you can, they can even move up T.O. Fimo and Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia. The one fight that was your iconic fight was Errol Spence. And really, pretty much, that's kind of go, going down the drain because he got injured. You know, so whatever he do now, you know, even if he look good and he fight three times before he fight you and you beat him off, oh, it wasn't for the injury. Earl, so pretty much you already didn't lost credit already. You already been discredited. So, you know, it is what it is. So if he don't want to choose to do it, man, he can let this dude off the hook. Off of pride. Man, man, man. And that's the difference between motherfuckers that 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 get out their comfort zone and they get money and motherfuckers that don't. You know what I'm saying? He's scared to get out of his comfort zone. He's scared about what people think about. Him. They already think that about you. You a nigga, bro. Just keep it in 100 with you. They already think that about you. But he goes on to say that he's going to Pacquiao first, obviously, because Earl got the injury. Um, I don't know what the fascination with fighting Pacquiao is at 41 years old. It's high risk, low reward. I mean, high, it's high risk. It's high reward, low risk, excuse me. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think Pacquiao can hang Jermaine with all of them, uh, especially if they let him do what he do. If they take that fight to an island or or over in the Middle East, Crawford might be in a bit of trouble early on. Um, Pacquiao is a southpaw. He's you know, he fast, he's athletic. He still got his legs. Been doing this for a long time. You know what I'm saying? Roy Jones' athleticism fell off. Bernard, you know, he really wasn't a twitchy guy. But it seemed like Pacquiao athleticism really ain't fought, fell off that as much as you think it would, you know, going from being in a game since, what, 96? Um, you know, so dudes still want to fight him. He got a belt. I think it's more of the status. But if you beat Pacquiao, and I get it, ain't nobody else to fight. If you beat Pacquiao, it means nothing to me. It don't make you an all-time great. Uh, uh, Morales did it. Marquez did it. He was stopped twice. So Mayweather did it. So it ain't nothing you can do. He been stopped. He been on his back. He been beat on his feet. He been beat on his back again. He been dropped. He been outboxed. He been he been stopped to the body, stopped to the chin. So it ain't it ain't too much to do, but you know, get the belt. But you know, fighting Pacquiao just gonna make you a hated person. And obviously, if you it's a close fight, you struggle with an old Pacquiao. You wouldn't be Pacquiao oh nine. So it's a lot of ifs in that fight, man. If it strictly gotta be financial. People talking about, I want to fight a legend. Motherfucker, that ain't the legendary Pacquiao no more. That's a Pacquiao ain't got nothing to lose but with built excuses in. No, oh, I mean, went 20, 29 years old. I think what these ass. You know, come on, man. Motherfucker still chasing Pacquiao, bro. I give Mayweather. Cause you be Mayweather, you eat free over the over in the world. You know, you eat free. You know what I'm saying? People going to lay lay them uh them uh, red carpet out for you like Mike Tyson when he's going to the countries and giving you crowns and shit, but... Yeah, he said he won't fight Pacquiao. I mean, he got a belt. I definitely understand that. Um, then he named Earl Spence. He said that, you know, they both big, strong, got ring IQ and all that shit. He said he'll separate him. Is, uh, he's slicker. He got more heart. He's smarter. He more versatile. Um, I don't really know how you can gauge if somebody got more heart um, until you get in there with him or until you see them tested. But uh, you ain't going to never say another man got more heart than you until he can prove it. And then again, a lot of people still won't admit it, then make excuses. So, um, you know, that's where he think he got the advantage at. He said he's gonna, uh, he gotta make it look easy. And um, you know, Earl Spence is a big basic fighter. Other than being a southpaw, you know, and one of the last few Mohegans of body punching, he will still go to the body. You know, you can tell he he grew up in a Mexican gym because he don't he don't he don't yeah motherfucker don't faint. He don't move his head. You know what I'm saying? He don't get on his toes. And when you move up and wait, those are all critical things you got to be able to do. You got to beat dudes with finesse and intellect. And um, that's what, he, you know, that's just my opinion on it. But he got a good jab. So, you know, he's strong. And if you can clip him, I don't know, you might be seeing something else. But he go to, he go to Danny Gar, uh, I think Sean Porter and Danny Garcia. I forget what, what order it was. I think it was Danny Garcia first. He sounded like he got a lot of respect for Danny Garcia, man. When I say he sounded like he got a lot of respect for Danny Garcia, he got a lot of respect for Danny. He said Danny a good fighter. You know what I'm saying? He got a lot of ring IQ. We shared the ring together. It seemed like he think Danny Garcia going to be a tougher fight than Earl Spence. He said he a good counterpuncher. He said make a good fight. Danny a good counterpuncher. Usually two good counterpunchers. I don't want to see that shit. He got, somebody got to be offensive in that fight. Probably got to be Crawford. 
And it seemed like he got a lot of respect for Danny Garcia. The way you make it seem that Danny Garcia had a tougher fight than Errol Spence for him. So, you know, it's some fight that he, you know, he said he got a lot of respect for Danny. He always respected Danny. Um, but Danny Garcia just don't seem to be entertaining the fight. But, you know, he said it's uh, Pacquiao, Spence. I want to say Danny Garcia and Sean Porter and himself being number one's top fight. He talked about Sean and how people didn't give Sean a chance versus Errol Spence. So, you know, that's where you're rocking that. So, I wouldn't really hold my breath on this fight. I just do it to troll the uh, Errol Spence fan. It's funny to me how sensitive they is. But if they don't fight, they don't fight. It, ain't, it, ain't, it don't shock me. Because they always find a way not to make the the, the, the minority fights. I mean, like I always bring up Gamboa, uh, Juan Ma Lopez, Bob Aram found a way not to make that fight. You know what I'm saying? You know, they find a way not to make Crawford and Errol Spence. You know, um, you know Floyd didn't want to fight Tim Bradley. He didn't want to fight, um, you know, any of Keith Thurman. He didn't want to fight Errol Spence. You know, you keep going up and up and up and down, man. It's hard to get two brothers in the ring together, you know, on on a, on a, on the highest level, man, or the top level in boxing. So they just don't do it. Gary Russell and Tank, it just they don't think two black fighters can sell. And, uh, you know, Al Heyman believe that narrative. Top Rank believe that narrative. Uh, the Zone believe that narrative. And, you know, that's just the way it's going to be until somebody step out and do it. So at the end of the day, I'm, I'm, I'm perfectly fine, you know, with, you know, boxing the way it is and me stepping away from it and not watching it no more because, you know, what I'm finding out is with most sports, man, I'm not the sports fan I was 20 years ago. When I was when I was a teenager and I was a kid, man, I used to love watching, like, like I was watching the Bulls documentary. I do a video on it. I used to love watching basketball. Like, I lived to die for basketball. You know, I used to love watching college football. I love watching college basketball. You know, I used to love playing baseball. I used to love the shit out of boxing. And like I said, with no sports on, I ain't really missing that shit. Only thing I'm really missing is shit to talk about on YouTube. So I ain't I can go back and watch old fights and I feel like I feel better than watching the new fights. So, you know, I'm at the point where um I'm at the point where I I'm, I just don't have a love for sports like I once had it no more. And in the the quarantine coronavirus is showing is showing that to me, bro. It's showing it to me, bro, because I'm not I I just I my routine is damn near the same when I'm not working or or I'm chilling at the crib. I might turn on the Xbox um, I might what, catch up on my old shows and stuff of that nature. So my routine really ain't ain't changed, bro. So, you know, I really don't miss the sports like that. Even the NFL kind of lost the love for that. But, hey, let me know what you guys think, man. Don't forget me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Um, continue to share the videos. Appreciate the love, support. Want to make a donation, cash out, PayPal in the description. Hey, man, appreciate y'all, man. Keep sharing the videos. Let me know what you guys think. Article link in the description. We go.